Hello guys, in today's video we will see how we can set different types of automation in our app in AppSheet. Here you will find automation icon. You have to click on this icon. We will define a new bot by clicking on this plus icon. Create a new bot and in this bot we have to set two things. If this happens, do this thing. When if you find this thing that we will define in first section, AppSheet will be finding this value, this action, this trigger and if this thing happens, it will run this process. So here, if I click on create a custom event, I can change the name. What could be that event? It could be all changes in data. If you are adding a new project, if you are changing project due date or anything in that row or, or you are deleting anything, then the bot will be triggered. If you click on ads only, then bot will trigger only if any new project is added. Otherwise, it will not trigger. If you delete any project or if you alter any information of previous project add and update if you add any new thing or if you alter or update any due date of previously added projects adds and delete all of the things are very very clear from their names if you add anything and if you delete any but it will not trigger if you update any similarly this is for delete if you delete anything then this bot will be triggered update and delete and updates on similarly then where this data change it has to find we only have one table of project management where we have all of the projects but if you have multiple tables like one table for projects one table for cost one table for revenue then you have to select your particular also we can define a certain condition here for example i want to trigger this bot for all of the all changes only if the city name like here i have to add the expression like for example if this project is assigned to person alpha so if any change happened in this table then it will check this condition what does condition is either this project is assigned to alpha or not if project is assigned to alpha then it will run the following process and what is the next process what we can do here before moving to the next part here is one more thing instead of the trigger we can also run our bot on schedule like daily hourly weekly monthly whatever you like okay let's move to the second thing add a process create a custom step click on that and here you will find either you want to send an email send a notification send an sms call a web group create a new file call a script so we can do multiple things here as well the most powerful thing here is call a script we can do many many things by calling an external app script okay also here if we change it to run our data action so we find some other things like if that thing happens then add new rows somewhere delete rows set row values run action on rows or grouped actions i also have some more options like wait call a process if we define a new process then we can call that processor as well we can return values as well let me show you some examples so for example here i have a bot if new time event is added and this bot is running for any data change if new row is added only and it is also checking a condition here actually two conditions that are joined by or function and after that it is calling a script let me open that script for you this is a script that is being called so here is the power that comes in we can write lengthy codes to define our custom needs to meet our custom needs and we can achieve all of the functionality of google sheet updation that and all of the query powers of database here let me show you another simple example here the bot is triggering again on one condition and it is multiplying that value with minus one this is what if you add an expense in a column so that is positive in the data set or in the database we need that value to be negative but we don't want the user to input that expense as negative so user will input the positive value so if that value is expense then this action will be triggered and amount will be multiplied with minus one so this is how bots work let me know in the comment section below what type of automation you need with the app sheet and i will try to create a bot for that specific requirement in the next video if you want to learn the app sheet in detail if you want to create no code apps you will find the link in the first comment or in the video description for full playlist thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel